Hi, my ducklings. Today we're going to be talking about how to practice your scales, which are very, very important. The very first thing you want to do, make sure you mark your key signature. For example, the key signature changes here from B flat to E flat. Also make sure to mark your accidentals. Doing this backwards is hard. Next, you want to say in finger the notes. As you see from my beautiful singing voice, this is great. It's okay if you're not on pitch. As long as, I mean, I would prefer it to be on pitch, but you know, go ahead and say in finger. Also, for time's sake, I am only doing the scale going up. Next, you want to go ahead and play the scale. Make sure that you're listening for your tone production as well as finger accuracy. As you hear right now, I am doing it in whole notes to a metronome. Not whole notes, half notes. I know how to count. I graduated college. Next, you want to play the scale in quarter notes at the same tempo. Don't try to speed it up right now. Just change the value of the note. Then you're going to play it as written, again at the same tempo. Make sure you're listening for that tone production and finger accuracy. Now from there, once you feel like you got the scale at that tempo, by the way, I was taking at 60, you can increase it based on your ability. I have increased the tempo to 80 beats per measure. Wow. I did it. All right, guys, and that's the gist for practicing scales. It's all about taking it nice and slow to begin. That way your brain can really absorb everything. And then you gradually speed it up until you're at your desired tempo. So my hint, always mark the key signature, play it in whole notes first, half notes, quarter notes, and then as written, and then repeat the process as you speed it up by five to 10 clicks, depending on your um, level of playing. But if you have any questions for me or you want me to um, give any more tips about what to practice and how to practice it, just comment it down below. Bye. Always have a pencil, please. <laughs>